Hello everyone, Ryan here with the last of the Notre Dame de Perry Clever Paper videos. And we're going to put a few remaining walls together on the north side and then we are going to uh, take a look at it and wrap it up. So let's take a few minutes to do the last few pieces.
And there you have it. Let's see if I can take the camera down and take a closer look at this. So, here it is. The finished product. So this is a big model, as we've talked about before. And I was right in that it took about nine hours to complete, which was pretty good value for the money. Uh, some things that would have made the model just a little bit better. Um, I would have loved to see a lighting kit offered for it at this price. Uh, a, a small lighting kit from the inside to really bring the stained glass out would be wonderful. It would be nice if the instructions added um, some information uh, for everyone on what they're looking at in terms of uh, parts of the cathedral and interesting details like this little door down here. Um, obviously you can get online and research it, but it would have been nice just to see in the instructions what is that. Um, over on this side, we don't have any statuary on the three pillars, but if I come around to the other side, um, there is one right there. Why is that? Um, so it would just be interesting if there was some, some basic information um, in the book on the parts of the cathedral and some interesting things about the cathedral, um, but small you know, a small complaint. The um, nice thing about this model, one of the nice things is it opens up. So you can pop it open and take a look at the interior. Here's a great way to get a sense of the stained glass. And when you open it up like this, you can throw a light behind it and see all the stained glass. Um, They've tried to put a little bit of detail in there. There's the organ uh, and the, the organ loft. Um, they've done just a little bit of detail here to give a sense of the uh, choir stalls on this side and on this side. And then you've got the high altar uh, over here as well. Um, so, you know, a nice attempt to give a little bit of detail inside. Um, it's really impressive when you look at the model opened up from this side. You can open it up all the way and get a good view um, of the whole thing just looking at it straight on, uh, which is kind of fun. So an impressive model, a lot of fun to build um, as opposed to the ceramic models or the uh, glue up paper models. This is a lot easier. Uh, it's a great thing to do. Uh, I keep saying while listening to podcasts or listening to the radio, um, it's, it's not a, it doesn't take a lot of thought and attention and it's less stressful. It's it's easier just to pop things out and um, put them together. Uh, it's fun. It's 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 a confection, as I said before, in terms of model building. Um, you might have seen on the video uh, just a couple of other things to note. Um, I colored in. You saw me take a pencil and color in uh, one of the pieces here that went on the end. What happened there is I, I went to pop out a piece in this direction and it was it was still attached with a little, you know, a little uncut tab right there and it ripped off the paper on the inside. What I'm finding with these, and I found out really too late, it didn't happen a lot, but it did happen on a couple of occasions. If you take the flat side, the non-textured side, and you pop things out in that direction, you tend not to have that problem. Um, the problem is everything feels like it's easier to pop it in this direction, but that's where you potentially get rips. Um, so that's a piece of advice I'd give somebody building these models is, is go from the flat side um, and pop things out in that direction and you'll avoid that kind of situation. 
So, I feel like I haven't finished many things lately. I've started a lot of stuff and I keep giving you a whole lot of videos um, showing things in, in partial completion stages. But here is Notre Dame de Paris done and ready for display. So it's nice occasionally to finish things up. Um, the other thing that's not as nice as it could be is the seam. Um, it's nice that it opens, that's fun, uh, but then you end up with this seam here, which is unseemly, uh, if you'll forgive the pun. Uh, and I'd like, I'd like it if it connected better uh, that way. So anyway, there you go. Notre Dame de Paris, about two feet by about a foot by about 16 inches tall. Uh, really impressive, highly recommended. Um, but again, you know, if you order this like I did um, on Amazon, the primary seller is in the Ukraine and it could take a while for it to get here. Maybe that was an effect of the uh, pandemic. Maybe it's just the distance. Um, but um, if you order it, be prepared to wait. So anyway, sorry about this choppy last video. Thank you for joining me on the journey. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.